Hello everyone, so in this video we're doing the lower part of this 12 hip roof job. I've done the, the main roof up there which has now been tiled in. Scaffold's been dropped so I can get on with this end. Uh, there was eight hips up there um, and we've got two to do on this roof here which is a garage. So what I've done is I've half lapped these plates on here. Um, I'm not going to do sort of a full in-depth video because I think I've done enough with that one. So. Um, what we're going to do is probably just set some time lapse up and do this sort of from start to finish. Interestingly, it has got a, um, it's although it's uh, cavity uh, work construction, so it's 300 mil wall build up. We've got 100 mil internal skin, 100 mil insulation, 100 mil external skin um, on the front uh, because of the lintel. Um, it's only 200 mil, so there's no cavity. So what we're basically going to do here is the uh, trusses in this instance. Uh, they hang over an extra 100 mil here, which basically means that the um, the hip won't strike the corner here. So it, it's fairly simple stuff. It just strikes uh, 100 mil further out here, but it can catch you out. Um, but I'll maybe explain a little bit as we're going, but I'm gonna set the camera up and uh, get some of these trusses up and start cracking on. So we've got the main elements in, we've got the girder trusses and the, the other truss with the flying uh, rafter tops and the two main common trusses and we've got this end mono in. So we're all set up now. I'm just gonna quickly show you. We've ended up with, with basically an offset hip on the corner here. And that is because obviously this uh, wall is only 200 mil uh, wide instead of 300 mil. So this 100 mil hanging over accommodates for that. The soffit will be wider because obviously um, we're 100 mil less here, but the hip will still strike, if you can imagine, from this point of the roof, not this point. So what I've done here is clamped a, a little piece of timber across here and I've put a 100 mil mark uh, on it there, if you can just see. And then this, this is where the plate would have been. So this is the true striking point of the hip. And if you see, I've just marked that back. Look, I'll just try and do it here, one-handed. So you can see look, that that all lines in. That's the center point of the hip and I've marked the hip material each side. So what we've got to do now, and as you see, I've just put this little a 90 degree across the end there. That's as if we would, if it was a normal hip, but obviously we're not, we're not doing that this time. I've only done that because I've got a height above block plate. Now the height above block plate for the, for the normal hip is the same as this end common and the common over there and I've cut that that's about 122 mil so that's a standard hip in that corner so that will just go here as you can see and then I can put my string up onto the top to cut to cut those rafter uh, flying rafters off up there but over on this side rather than over complicating it what I've done is taken the height above plate, uh, taking the height above plate here which is obviously bigger because the plate is sitting further in. So the height above plate measurement there is 190 mil. And I've cut my height above plate block here, 190 mil. And then again, that's why I put this little mark across here. We're not gonna cut this obviously. Is then I basically put that on there. Okay, and then we know that we've got the right height above plate. Same as that, you see, and forget about here. And um, because obviously this is 100 mil, can you see? So technically this point here is 100 mil further in and that point from there to there is 100 mil further in. So it's still 
uh, it's still correct. So uh, by way of checking that, if I was to, if you see the inside of the plate here, um, if I was to run a plumb line up the inside of the plate here on that truss, that would be the same measurement, uh, 190, 190 mil. So, so yeah, I hope you followed that. So I'll fix this down now, make sure that's plumb, and then uh, I can put a line from the outside edge of there up to where the two trusses meet and I can cut those top rafters off there. And then all we've got to do uh, when we take the measurements, when we cut, when I take those measurements uh, from up there when I'm cutting the hip, I just make sure I take the measurement to this point and then plumb down the hip or up the hip um, 190 mil. Obviously these hips aren't that big, I don't think, so they'll probably be like a wedge or something under there to hold the hip up. So but anyway, um, I hope I've made a reasonable job of explaining that. I'm going to get on and cut it now. Right, so I've cut those flying rafters off up there after setting up the line, and I cut a little slot in here and I put my tape in. And what I've done, uh, set up the hip in the normal way, I've got my hip plumb cut, and I've taken off this end, obviously my double uh, plumb top cut. I put a little notch in there, that just helps me um, with my tape. And then I get my measurement, which from memory, I can't remember what it was. I can't remember the measurement, it's gone from my mind. But basically, I put that same arcing mark uh, down to here. This is that mark across here. And now what I've done, I had to clamp this extra bit of timber on here because this hip is not wide enough to get the bird's mouth in. So technically there's no bird's mouth in this hip. And we have to actually pack it up off the plate a little bit. Now we know that my height above plate, look, is 190 mil. So you can see we've got a height above plate there. What I pretty much did there, um, you can see there's a, uh, I'll just put a temporary um, hip plumb line on here and measure down. 190 mil to that then all I've done look is measure um, square across and it's given me 169 mil so I've just put that 169 mil mark uh, there if you can see so uh, it gets you to the same point and obviously we re put our plumb cut through here if this was a, wi a wide hip this would be obviously the bird's mouth but what this has enabled us to do is not only get the right height above plate for the hip but also this bit here will cut this all this will cut away and we'll probably come up here 100 mil or so, and then this will be the packer that goes under the hip to get it up to the right height. So we'll cut that now and uh, see if it fits. That's that little wedge, I've cut it, and you can just see that's that pencil mark, which would have been the plumb cut of the bird's mouth. What I've also done is just tacked my height above plate but back in here, and then that should confirm that the top of the raft, hip rafter should come to the top of there, and we know that we're right. So, uh, as I showed you earlier, this hip's absolutely revolting. Well, I'm, you know, I'm not being a moaner, but that's just nasty so I'm gonna stick that up there and kind of just grin and bear it hopefully I can get it somewhere near that hips in is nasty I've done my best to get that bow out uh, where they put the gang nail plate on it don't they lay it flat so but anyway it's, it looks better than I thought it would but obviously down here it's uh, all over the place. So you can see, um, if I just bend it, I've got to try and straighten this up, which I will. But if you can just see, look, I'm trying to get it between my legs and bend it straight. You can just see, look how those, see how those marks coming together there, look. So we know we're right. And if I go up to the top of my height above plate block, look, you can see it's exactly right with the top of the hip rafter. So we obviously know that's in the right place now. So. Um, yeah, I've got to try and do something to straighten that up a little bit uh, before I can get the rest of these jacks in. But uh, that's that one done, and I can cut the other one in now.
that's it, another hip turn done. Uh, mostly time lapse this one, uh, because obviously I've done plenty of hips on this, on this job already. Uh, it's gone in pretty nice actually, uh, you did see the hips were absolutely terrible. And I've done the best I can to straighten them up. Uh, I've got some nice planes to look at, a nice plane across this end here. And we've got a nice plane down this end here. Um, you'll notice that I've had to extend the rafter feet here because somebody didn't check the drawing. I wasn't given the drawing to check. I would have seen that uh, there wasn't enough overhangs. I've had to extend those slightly tedious, but you know, it's not the end of the world. Um, so we'll just have a quick look at this corner down here. I said that this hip here was absolutely atrocious. So I've managed to straighten up as best I can. And you can see how, you can see now how it works it's being offset. Obviously this is where it would have come if the, um, the wall makeup was the same all the way around, but we've had to offset it so that basically we, you've got to pretend that the corner of the building is 100 mil further over here. Now, this hip's not the best thing to spy because if we, I've done my absolute best to try and straighten it up and look, there's a really interesting cut on the end of it. But let me just see up there, oh, my back's aching now. So I've got it straight more or less, and then I've had to let this bottom sort of do what it wants. I've tried to pin a bit of timber across here, but you can see, because it's twisted, um, I've, I've cut this by hand, so that's uh, that's in line with that. Um, those rafter feet there, and upright, and that's in line with those. And most of this will be cut off the bottom anyway, so it just looks a bit funky, but not going to worry too much about that. So that's it. Um, that's all ready for the soffit fascia now. If you want to see how I do the soffit fascia on a job like this, you can check out a video I did here, where I go into it in greater detail. Hope you enjoyed watching me, uh, you know, knock that up in in time lapse. Uh, quite enjoyable actually been a nice day today and we've had a little bit of something different with this offset hip so as always thanks for watching